We just got some breaking news here in our MSNBC newsroom. The New York Times with the report that Republican Florida Congressman Matt Gates is under investigation by the Justice Department over claims of a, quote, sexual relationship with a 17-year-old paying for her to travel with him, end quote. Gates, a controversial and somewhat prominent Republican who was a big ally of Donald Trump, goes directly on the record in this report. Let me read you what he tells the New York Times. Quote, I only know that the investigation has to do with women. He says he suspects that someone's trying to, quote, recategorize my generosity to ex-girlfriends as something more untoward. His lawyers say they were told that he was the subject, not a target, of any such investigation. The Times notes this was initiated during the previous administration and appears to be ongoing. NBC, we should note, has also reached out to Gates's office. We have not gotten an additional comment from them yet. And we turn now to the journalist who broke the story. New York Times reporter Michael Schmidt has been working on this. The story crossed the wire, and he's been kind enough to jump on the phone at a busy time. Michael, thanks for joining. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, what does your reporting show here, Michael? So, basically, federal authorities in Florida have been investigating a local politician, a local tax collector in Seminole County. That's just north of Orlando. In the course of that investigation, they found a, a range of things about this tax collector. But in their, the execution of their search warrants, they've also found stuff related to Gates and related to Gates' relationship with a uh, I don't know if we call it a relationship, but dealings uh, with a 17-year-old girl um, who they're investigating whether he had a sexual relationship with and whether he paid for her to travel, interstate travel. Now, that being that the girl was under 18 and that Gates was, you know, they're investigating whether Gates was sleeping, was, you know, had a relationship with her, um, that raises a host of legal questions about whether Gates broke the law. Yeah, and reading from your report, again, which just came out, breaking news from the New York Times on Republican Congressman Gates, you say investigators examining whether he, quote, violated federal sex trafficking laws. Uh, when he then says in the response that you report, so we're indebted to your reporting here, Michael, when I mention it, when, when his side says they are only a subject, uh, not a target, that's them trying to suggest they don't see uh, any indication that the probe has found that he did break the law. Um, what is your response or context for that defense? So the Justice Department, I mean, so if Gates is being accurate, um, that they said he was a subject and not a target, that's largely a, distinct, a distinction that I don't think makes much of a difference. Hillary Clinton was never the target of the Justice Department's investigation into it. They never made her a target. They spent the entire time investigating whether she broke the law and they, they did it so extensively that they then held a press conference to lay out what they found about her. She was never a target in that investigation. So when he says that, when he says that the Justice Department told his lawyer that he's a subject, not a target, that is largely a meaningless distinction. Understood, uh, based on your reporting. Uh, the Times mentions and Axios had reported, again, just today, that Gates was eyeing, quote, early retirement, uh, exploring potentially a media job, for example, at Newsmax. Uh, you include some of that discussion in the article. Uh, are these two stories linked in any way when you say that he's mulling retirement and he's also under DOJ investigation? Well, I think Gates has known about this investigation for some time. Now, how that has impacted how he views his political future, I'm not sure. Uh, we had heard that he, you know, he was very obviously concerned about this. Um, that would, you know, if you were a congressman in that situation, you would try and either get out in front of the story or try and, you know, find a, you know, a, a better landing path. Um, it's unclear what he will do. Um, and it's unclear what the, the, the Garland Justice Department will do. Gates is very closely assigned, uh, you know, linked to Trump. Um, if he were charged, that would obviously uh, create a fair amount of political blowback. I'm not saying they wouldn't do it because of that, but it would just they would really be entering into, um, you know, a more contentious you know phase where they're making cases 
uh, that that are going to be, you know, politically difficult for them, which I assume, you know, will, you know, will start happening as things move forward and as more Justice Department officials are confirmed. Interesting. And as you report, uh, going on for some time, Congress been aware of it for some time. Uh, and for those eyeing the potential political oversight of it, uh, initiated under the previous Trump Justice Department. Uh, New York Times reporter Michael Schmidt uh, had the big story tonight and made some time for us. Thank you, sir. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.